So I'm Mary, this is Dave. Um, we are both based in Switzerland, uh, working in real estate. Uh, today we're broadcasting live and direct out of the mountain hub in Verbier, and that's a co-working. And uh, we work together across Switzerland uh, in various uh, luxury real estate and investment opportunities. Um, so David, we're just going to take a little overview from you as the local for Verbier and uh, just help people who don't know about Verbier a little bit about it and then we'll get into the, some real estate. I'm in Verbier. Verbier, pretty much the king of Swiss resorts, although maybe St. Moritz and Nashdaad would have something to say about it. And we've got a really nice balance of extreme skiing, a bit of fashion, great restaurants, nightlife, accessibility, and of course, year-round sun because we're on a nice south-facing plateau. <laughs> so uh, Verbier, it's about to kick off the summer season. Uh, we did have a great winter season. Uh, all kudos to everyone who's involved in keeping the lifts and the, the resort open throughout that. And it wasn't just Verbier, it was the whole of Switzerland. We managed to set the standard for Europe and we hope to be doing the same thing for the summer as well. Uh, summertime, we've got the restaurants, we've got the lifts reopening this weekend and you know, that will bring a bit of life back. We've got plenty of festivals coming along and all the residents, secondary residents, holiday makers, hopefully will be able to travel from across Europe and be able to join us here. There's a really nice buzz. There's some really good festivals, the equestrian festival, you've got the Verbier festival, you've got bike fest, uh, plus a number of sporting events as well. Uh, welcome where you along here. Now, as Mary said, we're both involved in the property side. So lifestyle aside, we are looking you know, to help you find your dream home in one of our wonderful resorts. Uh, in Verbier, it is, it is one of the higher price resorts. Uh, it's substantially more expensive than, for example, North Facing. Uh, however, we've got a few interesting prospects along the way. Um, at the top end of the scale, We've got a four bedroom chalet under construction, is going to be finished by December this year. And that's just under 10 million. Uh, it's in one of the prestigious parts of Verbier. It's looking straight across the Val d'Avagna and it's going to be built in traditional materials, stone, wood. It is a real lifestyle place, available to everyone. And at this stage, you can also get involved in how you'd like the outfit done. Ooh, what else have we got up here? We've got a little, little investment opportunity. We've got five studios, uh -huh. five studios in the Migro building. So we all know the Migro building is not potentially the, uh, the most attractive building in Verbier. However, it's super useful because it's great access to the supermarkets, to parking, various other commerces, bus stop right out the front, two stops from Medran, and it is literally in the centre of town. Uh, five studios, perfect for either seasonal or annual rentals. You've got the possibility of joining two of them together to actually make an apartment which you could use yourself and then three income bearing properties at the same time. Uh, do need a little bit of a touch up, but the price reflects this. We're just under 1.2 million for five properties. That's, that's really incredible for Vip, yeah. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, it is. Uh, so the price reflects the fact that it does need a little bit of investment into it. You probably need to throw between 50 and 100,000 of the five. To, uh, to get them looking a little bit more modern, a little bit more attractive. But then what you'll see is you'll also see an increase in the rental returns. And because they're all on individual titles, despite being sold as a block, if you only wanted to keep three or four, you could do that and then sell some back to, uh, to recuperate. Okay, fantastic. Uh, that is uh, because it is five titles, that is for Swissies though. Okay. Or permits. Fantastic. I love Swissies. Swissies. How Australia folk. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anything else? Well, up here, uh, we're keeping the rest under wraps. A few, uh, few off-market ones that can't be uh, spoken about for the moment. Right. But certainly in the surrounding area, we've got a few more properties. We've got a really nice cafe restaurant down in the Sharp. Mm -hmm. Historic building, which has been renovated. Now... That one would be perfect for an owner operator who wanted to run a small restaurant or cafe and also have some Airbnb rooms above. Fabulous. Okay. And just to uh, clarify, the Sharp is another mini substation, really, of Verbier. It just sits at the bottom and connects everybody by train to Geneva. 
and then telecabin straight up to Verbier. So it really is very well connected. I guess that's uh, probably about a wrap for uh, today. So thank you for joining us on our little live session from Mountain Hub Verbier. Uh, it's been a real pleasure to have you with us and we look forward to bringing some more property information, resort information, and you know, if anyone wants any questions answered about, about investing, about moving, about becoming a resident where we uh, have the pleasure and privilege to live, then please do get in touch.